Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. You know, I've been documenting my experiences learning to ride and racing off-road for two seasons. I've shown much of my own struggles as a 40-something male taking on the challenges of a very tough and dangerous sport. Starting at such a late age has its advantages and disadvantages as well. Age has given me an advantage when it comes to being able to analyze and interpret the theoretical aspects of riding. It's led to a better understanding of the physics involved, the knowledge of basic principles. It also helps to truly have a deep appreciation and respect for the power of the machine and the many ways that it can break me. Now, all of this has helped me overcome some disadvantages. Disadvantages that are related to a lack of practical experience that only comes from actual time on the bike. There is absolutely no substitute for real experience. And this is very apparent when comparing me to other riders my age who have been riding since they were kids. You know, I heard once that most professional riders didn't pick their career as an adult. They didn't just decide one day to pick up the sport, show up at a few pro level races and walk away with major sponsorships and trophies. For those who don't possess some uncanny natural ability to just jump on a bike at a late age and succeed, the journey to the peak of the sport starts at a young age, usually through the guidance and support of a parent or other support figure. Now the Arizona Motorcycle Racing Association runs a mini-series concurrent with the big bike races that I've been doing. This mini-series can be a launch pad for the future stars of the sport. This incubator has actually produced several professionals from its ranks. Riders like Max Gersten and Mason Ottersberg started out in the mini class and worked their way up the ranks to become top level professionals in the sport. And while some kids and their parents have dreams to make it in the pros someday, most aren't going to. Even so, many of today's amateurs that started out on minis have gone on to have successful careers in other professions while continuing to ride competitively and enjoy the sport. Recently, I had the opportunity to speak with Mason Ottersberg, and we talked about the trials of young riders and his meteoric rise to the top, where he remains a down-to-earth and grounded young man. Well, you know, it's I started riding quads when I was two, and I tried riding a dirt bike when I was about four, and I kept crashing, so I didn't do it. And I, I did go-karts for a while, and then I got back on a dirt bike when I was nine started racing and uh, from there it was just kind of like that's what I wanted to do and then when I turned 18 I really made a push to try and be a factory rider at some point and, you know now five years later I'm 23 and I signed my first contract with the factory team and it's just uh, it, it's it's surreal like when I actually stop and think about it and realize that like this is what I get to do for a job now which is what I've wanted to do and for the longest time thought it was never possible i mean you know at one point last year i almost quit so wow. it's uh it's it's humbling for sure i definitely appreciate everything that i have and the way that everything's gone it's just uh i wouldn't change it for anything so it's awesome i also had the opportunity to speak to jay savat winner of the 2018 amra mini series how you doing what's your name my name is jay savat and i just finished last race of the year I came in second but first in points so I'm super pumped. So how was the course? It was epic. It had nothing but turns and sand. Do you have any trouble anywhere? Uh, luckily I didn't crash this race so I was good. What do you think of the season? Oh it was one of the best seasons ever. I'm ready to go to the banker already. <laughs> I can't do this right. <laughs> You're a natural, man. The kid was such a natural interviewee, he actually threw me off. What got you into racing? My dad, he really, he was the one that showed me dirt bikes. It was epic. My first race was at three and he did it, we did it at Simon Well and it was epic. I loved it. Well, good job, buddy. Thank you. All right, take it easy. Now in the Amra mini series, kids like Jace Vaught and Deegan Fox are riding at the top of their game. 
while new challengers and up-and-comers are not far behind. While some are hungry for the wins, others are just in it for the best reasons of all. Why do you race? Um, because it's fun. What's your favorite part about racing? Uh, my favorite part about racing is just hanging with my friends and doing a bunch of other things. And what don't you like about racing? What's the worst part? Wrecking. <laughs> <laughs> for the parents, the rigors of traveling to the races and financing these operations seem to be merely an afterthought, even though the cost must be a heavy burden. But I believe the benefits are priceless. This is quality time with their kids. And when moms and dads race as well, there's a really special relatable bond that forms from traveling, camping, and racing together. Now there are risks, of course, and these parents aren't blind to it. They work very hard with their kids, teaching them and preparing them to ride well. They want their kids to do well and avoid injury, but they are also providing the opportunity for their children to be tough and strong when trouble finds them, as it inevitably will. These lessons run deeper than this sport, and they're very valuable in all aspects of life. They're raising their children in a dangerous sport, and while some people want to raise their kids in a bubble wrap, surrounded by video games and television, I believe that these kids are always going to have a distinct advantage over their pampered peers. They're being challenged on a regular basis to face down fears while also learning responsibility and independence. So here's to the future of our sport and the future leaders of our communities. Kids, rock on, keep riding, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.